Welcome to our lecture online. Here our next example has a radical in again, and the radical is in the denominator. And I always like to rewrite it in terms of um, an exponential and bring it to the numerator and write it as a negative exponent. So the first thing we're going to do is write it like this. This is equal to the integral of the quantity x squared plus 4x to the minus 1 half power, because a radical is a 1 half power, bring it to the numerator, that's minus 1 half and we multiply that times x plus 2 times dx. Now the question is, is this the proper differential of this so we can integrate it? Well, in order to figure that out, we can say, call this quantity here inside a parentheses, let's call that equal to u, and then we write u is equal to x squared plus 4x, that means that du dx, the derivative with respect to x, is equal to 2x plus 4, and so therefore du is equal to 2x plus 4 times dx. And so we come over here, we look at that and we have, well we have x plus 2 times dx, but we need 2x plus 4. Essentially, we can rewrite this as 2 times x plus 2 times dx, so now it becomes clear that we're missing the 2. Alright, that means we need to multiply this times 2, and then also divide by 2 so we don't change anything and now we have our proper differential du here so now we have u to the minus 1 half du so we can integrate that and again you don't have to do the u integral we can simply write it like this this is equal to 1 half times this quantity raised exponent by 1 so we end up with x squared plus 4x minus 1 half plus 1 is plus 1 half divided by the new exponent 1 half and plus a constant of integration and then we can see that this 1 half will cancel out this 1 half so this simply becomes the quantity x squared plus 4x to the 1 half power plus a constant of integration and that is how we integrate that and that is how we find the proper differential so that the integral is possible